It's a long weekend for many and families celebrate the 4th of July. And joining me now is Sarah Warner of Destination Madison to highlight a few fun events to check out in the next few days. Aside from all the fireworks displays, some tonight, some tomorrow, of course, the weekend as well. Let's talk about some other options, starting with the Catfish River Music Festival that runs tomorrow through Saturday. Through Saturday in Stoughton, and it's kind of right near the Stoughton Opera House. But there's a great lineup of some of our favorite musicians here in Madison that we go check check out all the cool. time so head to Stoughton there's going to be food and drinks available for purchase totally family friendly there are even some more family and kid focused bands performing earlier in each of the days so check out the schedule for details yeah go online I did that too because there really are a lot of bands and solo acts performing mm -hmm. you can also have burgers on Monona Bay and bring your dogs it looks like you can you can <laughs> totally stand up paddleboard with your dogs it's so cute um, but yeah burgers on the bay this is an event that Madison Boats puts on sometimes throughout the summer and they're doing it this Friday. You get your kayak, paddleboard, canoe, and you have to go out to the middle of Monona Bay to buy your burger, your oh, dinner, they're whatever. They're set up to sell them in the middle, in the middle of the water. Yeah. And then you can kind of hang out near the shore. There'll be live music. It's a ton of fun. If you don't have a boat or flotation device, do you reserve those mm -hmm. in advance? You can reserve them in advance okay. or oh, sure up on site at the evening of, and you can just check them out and rent them there. And I think Friday evening looks pretty good. I hope so. Weather-wise, <laughs> fingers crossed. If you prefer land instead of water, <laughs> there's a summer concert on Friday night as well. Yep, out in Fitchburg at Four Wind Farms, um, there's... Alpha Romeos will be performing and they uh, advise people bring kind of a blanket and kind of chill out on the lawn for the performance. There also will be food and beverages available for purchase. Totally different experience, right? It's at a beautiful farm in the countryside. <laughs> I have been there. I did an interview where they were doing a production there, a play. It is a very cool venue. So if you haven't been, it is worth checking out mm -hmm. at some point. A good opportunity. And then finally, you can enjoy an exhibition that celebrates women artists. Yeah, the 51000 Women Artists Forward Exhibition is celebrating their, over five years, 10 women have been given $100,000 unrestricted to do, put their artwork together. Wow. Um, so it's really incredible. It's open on fr Saturday and Sunday and then through the beginning of August. Um, but it's just an opportunity to see some incredible local women artists work right in the James Watchers Gallery at Overture Center. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So that's right there in that first floor area. It's actually the third oh, floor. Up. Yeah, but it's part of um, sci the um, science and industries and art at a University of Wisconsin. So they kind of okay. have a gallery space on that third level oh, Overture. So go up and I don't know that I've been up there to check that it's out. It's also so free. A cool <laughs> opportunity to do so. Thank you so much for coming in and happy fourth. You too. Thanks.